guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl alicia and i'm back with another video now for today's video i'll be doing some valentine's day nails and i'm gonna be doing them much longer than i usually do because i have these long stiletto nails that i got from amazon by the brand bu and it has 500 tips in the case very convenient all the sizes are already sorted for you and today I will be using the Azure Dip Powder Kit that I got from Amazon. I used it previously in another nail tutorial. I will link that in the description below as well as I may link it in the video. And yeah, you guys can check out the video to see how I use the kit the first time. So now I'm just going to go through the nails to find the nails that fit my finger. And that's what I am doing here. If you find a nail that fits but it's a little bit um, off, you can file the sides to achieve the look. And I went ahead, I wasn't recording and I attached the nails, you know, using glue. I've done this a million times on my channel so you guys can see how I achieved that. And yeah, these are what the nails look like. Um, they are kind of flat so if you don't really like flat nails then you won't like it but I just decided to try it because I always use the nails with the curve yeah and plus when you cut these stiletto nails you get the perfect coffin shape to ensure that the nails are flat I'm gonna go ahead and just buff out the seam where the tip meets my natural nails <laughs> Okay guys, I tried but I could not work with the nails <laughs> at this length. It was so uncomfortable and so difficult. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cut them down to my desired length and then shape the sides and the tip and then I'll come back to you guys. Okay guys, so this is what the nails are looking like after I've shaped them. As I told you before, when you cut the stiletto nails, you get the perfect shape coffin nails. Like they look so good. Now I'm going to I went ahead and I um filed the seam off camera like i just you know smooth it out so there's a smooth transition from the tip to my nail and as i said before i will be using the azure dip powder and this is a red color like guys when i use it in my first video i had to use it again so now i am just pouring it out into my little um dipping dish if you can call it that yeah and uh, it's so pretty but trust me this color gets everywhere it is so annoying but it is totally worth it so first i will be applying the bond it is um i would say like a primer yes yeah, so it is gonna allow the glue and the dip powder to stick to your nails much better I am taking my time because I don't like when the primer gets on my skin. I don't know, I just don't like how it feels. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so the first thing that we'll be needing is the base, which is actually a glue. And we'll also be needing the brush saver so we can interchange the brushes so it doesn't get hard. Then I will be placing the base, which is the glue, down the center of my nail. You want to apply it as smooth as possible so you don't get any bumps and any spots that are not um, covered with the dip powder. So you want to be, you know very light handed and then i'm going to tap off the excess and then at some point later on i'm going to be using a brush to remove all the excess before applying the additional layers so i'll be doing that to all of my nails okay applying the first layer I'm going to go in with a brush to brush away all the excess and let me tell you this powder gets everywhere right <laughs> trust me so I'm gonna go in now with a second layer and this one is gonna be right above the smile line and then of course I'm gonna dip shake off the excess and I'm gonna be doing the same thing to all the other nails it's pretty repetitive guys like you're basically doing the same thing over and over again so this is what the nails look like after i've applied the second layer to all of them and i'm just brushing away the excess as i did before okay so i normally do three or four layers on each nail so i'll be going in with two more layers for each nail um in this video so i'm just applying um, the other layer I'm um, leaving enough space so I can apply the fourth layer which is going to go closer to the cuticle and when you are applying this layer you want to be careful you want to ensure that you push your cuticles back before you actually started doing your nails so same thing very repetitive and guys it looks so good um, admittedly I could have added another layer to build up the apex a bit more because these nails are very flat so it depends it's dependent on you and how thick you want your nail to be but it's okay and after applying all the layers to the nails um, this is what it looks like it looks real good I love the color um, I love the shape and I after that, I went in and I applied the transparent powder. So when I'm filing, I will not file away that pretty red color. And as you guys can see, my hands are red, but water will take care of that. So no issues. I'm going to go in now with the activator to harden the nails. And another thing guys about the activator when you're using the activator to harden the nails you do not want to be stingy because you want to ensure that every inch of the nail is covered this is going to make it um, possible so you can file and shape the nail as you would want to Okay, so this is what the nails look like after I've applied the activator and then I'm going to go in with the silver glitter powder to apply to the other two fingers that I didn't put the red on. Now it is time to file and shape and buff the nails. All right, 
right, so this is what the nails are looking like after all that filing and buffing. I'm going to go in now with a coat of activator to make sure that if any spots were exposed, then the activator will harden it. Alright, so today I'll be using this Azure Beauty Top Coat that I got from Amazon. It actually has a base coat in the package as well. And I'll be using my nail lamp because it is a gel top coat that needs to be cured. So as I said before, it comes with a base coat but we'll just be using the top coat today. And I also bought these gemstones from Amazon. I don't remember the brand but I'll link it in the description below. Now in the package you get the the glue um to adhere the stones to your nails you have different shapes and different sizes real nice real inexpensive you also get a um a picker if you can call it that to adhere the nails or i don't remember what you call that tool and you also get a brush to brush on the glue to your nails before you adhere the crystals so let's get going first of all i will not be using the brush that was sent in the kit because i don't know i didn't like it It was way too big so i'm using this brush that i already had and at the end of this brush there's also a oh my god i think it's called a picker that it makes it makes it easier to pick up the crystals so that's what i'm doing here i'm just putting them where I want them to go um, basically around my cuticle and yeah I know it's not much but I'm trying to be a little bit more you know glam yes yeah, so I am coming into my own and uh, trying new things so <laughs> yeah okay so this is what it looks like this is the finished result it looks good you know it's cute simple but cute so i'm gonna go ahead and do the other hand so this is the finished product like i like them i like the color for valentine's day it's perfect simple glam cute so now i will be curing it in the lamp because you know you have to cure the gel the stock on gel so the crystals don't move and right here i'm just applying my gel top coat because i wanted them to be real glossy so i decided to use gel and you want to make sure that you don't get the gel on the crystals because it's gonna dull the shine all right and here is the finished product after curing i love them they look so good i mean when i was cutting them they seemed a lot longer to me they look kind of short now listen if you cannot do acrylic nails do not worry the powder it never fails like it looks so good who can tell you that this is not acrylic like nobody but i am easing my way back into the acrylic um so you guys will be seeing it on my channel hopefully sooner than later but i am loving these nails it is so easy to do but guys if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe turn on your post notifications so you don't miss an upload please click the like button if you are watching and you're enjoying the videos please subscribe and get your girl to one okay i need your help leave a comment let me know what you think share the video like the video and i will be leaving everything that i use in the description and until next time bye and enjoy your valentine's day